What's up guys? It's your girl Trika and I am back again with another cooking video. Yes, this is the same outfit I had on for the last one because it's actually the same day. I made my son's um, chicken and sausage gumbo for my Thanksgiving potluck family. And now I am making my husband's um, spaghetti with sausage and shrimp. He loves this, so hold tight. I'm gonna go ahead and get my ingredients together and I will be back to put my spaghetti, shrimp, and sausage together. See you in a second. All right, y'all, I'm back. This is a really simple recipe, but it's so flavorful and it's so daggone delicious. Um, all you need is a sausage of your, ch of your choice. I use a beef and pork uh, sausage. Um, some ground beef. This is only about uh, two and a half pounds of uh, ground beef. You'll need some a can of stewed tomatoes. I don't fool with that damn, what do you call it? Spaghetti mix, whatever that stuff is. I don't do that jar. A can of tomato paste. And this is, should be a 16, 12 ounce, 12 ounce. And you need a 14 and a half ounce pass of fiery most uh, roasted tomato salsa. And I do have some tomato sauce. Why she can't find it, I don't know. But also some tomato sauce. So um, I think what I'm gonna do, instead of my salsa, I think I'm gonna do fire ro roasted diced tomatoes instead of the salsa. Y'all excuse my little grandson walking through. You'll hear noise, it's still uh, Thanksgiving break and so they're still here. So what I'm gonna do is get my ground beef and my sausage in a pan. Um, I use, look, this is what I use, my seasoning blend. Y'all, I don't, I, don't, I don't have time. Oh, let me take him out that picture. I don't want no problems. This is Aiden, stop. I use this regular seasoning blend. Can y'all see me? Well, I don't want y'all to see me out well, anyway. I use this regular seasoning, seasoning blend. Look at this boy. Because it's easier. It's simple. Zayden, get your little self down. He gets on my nerves, y'all. And I use the large shrimp. Zayden Tyrell, get down. Thank yeah. you. He's autistic, y'all. I told y'all that. That's my heartbeat. He's autistic. Um, I'm going to get everything together in a pot and I will be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. I'm getting ready. Oh, that ain't the one I want. I want this one. I'm getting ready to get everything started. So I got my, my fire on a little high. I like for my skillet to kind of get going a little bit. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Y'all see my son's pot of gumbo still cooling here in the back. When it cools off all the way, I'm gonna go ahead and, and take it home to him. Well, y'all, this is a kitchen, so surely y'all know I'm gonna have a dustpan, a trash can. So I don't want nobody saying, ooh, that's all, it ain't nothing. It is what it is. So I'm gonna put this ground beef in here first. My kitchen clean and y'all see that, so I ain't tripping. Okay, put that ground beef in there. I love you. I'm gonna go ahead and take the sausages. And this was just the, uh, you know the little rope packages? It was just one of those. I think it was garlic and something. So, I'll just add that. Then I'm gonna add some of my seasoning blend to my pot. Okay. All right, and then I'll just start adding a little of my seasoning. I like more of an Italian flavor, but I do, I will put some. I love. Cajun seasoning. I, I'm trying not to use too much Tony Sachery, and that's my favorite. 
but I'm just trying to back off of that just a little bit. Use something different. Try to create different, you know, a different flavor. Um, some oregano. Oh, that's not even open. Dang it. Sorry, guys. It's not even open. I hate my that trash can is in the shot. That's not the prettiest sight to see. Hold on. All right, y'all. I'm back. And yes, for all of you guys that live in Pettyville, Texas, I washed my hands after I moved my trash can. Um, oregano. Yep. I'm probably going to end up adding more oregano. Garlic powder. And I love garlic powder. Yeah. I'm just going to get it seasoned up really good for the people. Basil leaves. Okay. Some good old Italian seasoning. Oh, shit. And it's not open either. I'm batting a thousand on this video. Bear with me, y'all. It's going to get better. My videos are going to get better. Definitely going to start doing more cooking videos. Italian. Hold on. Okay. Um, some Italian seasoning. I'm probably add a little more of that in the end. Oh, my favorite paprika. I add chili powder, but I don't add it until the end. Paprika don't taste like a bunch of nothing, y'all. So I just love to add it. Onion powder, because it's so pretty. I'm just gonna add a little salt, just a little bit. Okay, it like so. I did have a plastic spoon. I don't want a plastic spoon. I want a little spoon. And I'm just gonna get all of this incorporated together. Start letting it fry pretty good. And then I'm gonna make my, my noodles. So let me get this fried and I will be right back. All right guys, I just wanted to come back for a minute and show you that the ground beef and the sausage is starting to brown up really good. And then when it does that, we'll drain the grease and then we'll add our other ingredients and let this bad boy simmer. So just to let you guys see how it's browning pretty good. I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. I've drained off most of the grease to where you'll see now it's cooking pretty good. Hold on, I'm trying to get y'all better. Yeah. It's cooking pretty good now. I've drained the grease. So now I'm gonna add my tomato products. I'm gonna make, add my fire roasted diced tomatoes. That gives amazing flavor to spaghetti. And this is my can of stewed tomatoes. And my tomato paste. I'm going to turn on some water over there. Because I like to add hot water to it. So got some water going. Oh man, this stuff is so good, y'all. Mm. Who does not love homemade spaghetti sauce? And I'll use my can too. I'll put my water in it. I'll use my can in a minute. Get this all stirred in here really good. I sure hope y'all can get a good, y'all can see this really good. Let me do it like this. Stirring this in here pretty good. Okay. 
Now I'm ready to add some water to it. And then I'll add my um, chili powder. It all depends on how you like your spaghetti sauce, thick or thin. Like I noticed that um, <clears throat> Tasha likes hers a little thicker and that looks really good from Steph and Tasha. That looks really good. And I know my girl from Danielle, she likes hers a little thinner. So whichever way you like it, thick or thin, it doesn't matter. You just have to make it to your consistency. And this here is my consistency because I wanted to cook down to make some great, 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 great sauce. And I know I'm still gonna have to season it some more. I know it's gonna have to be seasoned more. So I'm gonna let it cook just a dab and get some more water just in case. I have my shrimp draining in the drain board over here. So I'll be ready to do that. My son gonna share this gumbo with me whether he knows that. This gumbo looks daggone good. Yeah, it's, it's thick and I like it thick. I'm gonna give it a taste. Still gonna be a little tomatoey, but I wanna check my seasoning level. Mm. Clean off my spoon. Add my chili powder. I'm gonna add a little salt and I'm gonna add a little sugar just to cut you know, cut up all of the tomato taste. I'm gonna add a little sugar. Oh, my little salt, I'm gonna do a little salt. Look how beautiful this spaghetti sauce looks. Look how beautiful. I'm gonna add that little bit more of water. Stir it up pretty good. Yeah, that's really pretty. Get a little more chili powder. <clears throat> yep, mm hmm, mm hmm. Taste it again. Let's see what happens. What it what it do? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little more salt. There's no way you can flavor your food at the beginning and then call it season because it don't work like that. You have to flavor your food throughout the entire cooking process. And for me, that's why a lot of times I don't want to eat because I've tasted so much flavor in it, I don't want to eat. But you have to flavor your food through the cooking process. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Okay, y'all, I'm country and ghetto. Look what we put our sugar in, whole fish fry. Bucket, whatever. Get a little sugar, just a little bit, just to break up the monotony of the tomato paste. Turn it down, and now all you want it to do now, I'm gonna let it simmer for a little while, probably for about 20 minutes, and then I'll add the shrimp. Jeff, don't forget your bowl of gumbo up there. I told you I, I took you out a bowl of gumbo. I mean, Kevin's gumbo, I got your bowl. Oh. So let's taste it again. Clean spoon, so don't be tripping. Where your phone is, 
You know, that's a good question. It should be on the couch somewhere. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. You need to charge it up. No, you need to put it on charge. You need to charge it up. <laughs> so I'm gonna let this cook down a little bit, y'all. And I will be back when it's time to add the shrimp. Put my phone on airplane mode. I didn't because you was you was out in the streets. So I will be back. All right, it's been simmering away. I'm gonna go ahead and add um, the shrimp. I've already washed it and drained it, and I'm using large shrimp. I'm gonna go ahead and add that. Get that stirred in, because you know it don't take shrimp long, so I'm not gonna have to leave it going much longer. I'm just gonna put it on simmer just to give the shrimp a chance to season up. I'm not gonna taste it anymore right now since the shrimp are raw. So I'm just gonna stir it in like so. Huge shrimp. So I'm gonna let this go for a little bit. And I will be back with the final product. All right, guys, here is the finished product. I'm gonna take it off the trap. Here is the finished product of my shrimp spaghetti. That's before I add the noodles. I'm gonna add the noodles in a minute and I'm gonna come back and plate it up so you guys can see how delicious this is. And I just used some um, Italian cheese on top. You have to put cheese in spaghetti. Look at the huge shrimp. Yeah, give this sauce just a little taste, and then we'll see. Mm, 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 mm. That sauce is amazing. It has an amazing seafood taste to it. So, a little more love on top. I just used um, Italian five cheese. So sprinkle just a little more love on top. I'm gonna make the noodles and I'm gonna put it all together so you guys can see. All right guys, it's time to plate the finished product. And I cook my noodles just al dente. You don't want them too, too smushy. So make a plate for my husband. And he has been wanting this for so long, so I know he is going to enjoy it. I'll be right back after that. So there is his noodles. Then I am going to put his sauce. Look at that sauce, y'all. Oh my gosh. Put that sauce right on top. Hooey. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That. Take some of this cheese. Yes. Some, some parsley on top of it. Y'all look at that. Look at that plate. Is that not a work of art? That is a work of art. Shrimp, sausage, ground beef, cheese. Mm. 
It's my husband's plate, but I want a bite. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. And there you have it, guys. Spaghetti, shrimp, sausage, and ground beef. Made by yours truly. Bon appetit. If you like this video, guys, please remember to subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Share because sharing is caring. Add me to your community tab, guys, so everybody can see what I'm doing over here. Let them know that I'm changing up a little bit. I'm going to start bringing more cooking videos. And until next time, this is Trika, a.k.a. Texas Tea, saying be good to yourself. Because if you're not good to yourself, you can't be good to anybody else. Love your friends. Love your family. Make up with someone that you've been beefing with because you know what? Life is too damn short. So until we see each other again, take care. God bless. Deuces. Now let me serve up my husband. Bye, guys.